We're coming to you live from Tombstone, Arizona. It's sold out Chimera Stadium. This is global warming at its finest, folks. It's a scorching 116 degrees today, but thankfully, it's a dry heat. And today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams are taking the field. The Micro Hard Mutilators face off against the Cardinal Sins. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Yo, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Hope you got your mutant tailgate buzz on. I know I did. The teams are revving up on the sidelines, and we are ready for some mutant football. Grim Blitzer along with Bricks and Bricks Jr. Yeah, Grim, I had a little eye open at myself at the mutant bloodmobile park next to the taco truck outside. Called a lobotomy shot. Raccoon rabies blood and red bull crap. Hoo-hoo. Yeah, I can tell your mouth looks like a hot shaving cream dispenser. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot Oh, with the brain scrambler. And that'll be second and eight to go. Hot one, hot two. And the ball is lateral to his teammate. We're talking street ball here, Briggs. First down. This guy just loves to hit people as hard as he can, Briggs. It's first and ten. Hey. It's two-yard run before he stopped. I know I've said never hit a man when he's down. It's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. <laughs> and that'll be second and eight to go. Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. Punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, do well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss. And he snags the punt. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And the defense goes for the jugular and rough. It's not how many times you fall, it's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. Yeah, an eight ball wouldn't hurt either. Did somebody say cocaine? And it's first and ten. point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. First and ten. That's a 
killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy game. Second down and ten. And the ball falls to the ground. That's incomplete. He needs to throw it when a receiver can catch him. What's he doing? And uh, groundbreaking analysis as always there, Bricks. Well, I'll thank you. I do my part. Third down and ten. Third down, and, and they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. <laughs> Third down, and the QB is saying his prayers. Somewhere, but he gets stumped after three. They usually stop me after three, too. You know, the all you can eat buffets? They're not as literal as you think. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. <laughs> Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, uh, going in circles. The punter was killed, so now they'll need to find another player on the bench to punt from here on out. Yeah, who gives a crap about punters anyway? Punters' moms? Wives? Kids? Uh, but that's about First and ten. He runs it for three. Second down and seven. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? Third down and six. And he laterals the ball. Man, these guys like playing high risk ball. He broke free and has open field in front of him. Mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. down with that tackle. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. 
First down and five. Oh, and he laterals him, and he rumbles into the end zone for the score. I hope he's not going to dance now. Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. Oh man, he really wants it. First and ten. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So was that cheerleader. Second down and ten. Cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so do the fans. And it's first and ten. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. Oh, nice hit. First and ten. Interception! And that's how you stop an offense. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. First and ten. And another interception. This quarterback is going to lose. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Briggs. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. And it's first and ten. for four yards. Second down and six. Oh, with the punt. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I had to check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. That's the end of the first quarter, and it's still anyone's game. Third and two.
first and ten. Scramble, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a cop or was at home. Second down and five. <laughs> Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. <laughs> He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to He's at the 20, the 10, touchdown, and he rumbled that one into the end zone. Nicely done. I can't run like that unless it's coupon night at Taco Hell. He has better footwork though than me. I'm kind of not clenching his cheeks though. <laughs> the offense is down to their last two linemen. Once they're gone, it's game over. Yeah, who cares? Linemen suck. They don't even deliver any fantasy points. They, they spend two years in the league and then they become bouncers at biker bars. And they line up for the extra point. It's good. kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And that'll be second and eight to go. Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. That one's incomplete. The receiver couldn't get there. And yeah, neither could his mother. Third down and eight. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. And it's first and ten. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. The 20. He first down. The defense has only one line basher left, and they need to keep him alive to avoid forfeiting. The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, win. they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. And it's first and ten. And the QB might as well just bury himself now because and into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. I turned on the light, it wasn't a boom. And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey I almost got dead mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. First and ten. Hot, hot one. Hot. And he gets 
three yards on that run. Second down and seven. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches. The Cardinals fans ruthlessly destroy the opposition and win by forfeit. That was one hell of a slugfest. That was worth the price of admission, right, guys? Well, I paid for admission. I expect girls dancing on a pole or something. Girls, man, how about a lap dance? You don't even have a lap, you little freakazoid. Follow me. Let's see what the MVP has to say about today's outcome. <laughs> today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.